24-year-old Nigerian Nkechuku Ikeeze is addicted to betting. He just can't help himself. I just play the game now. I lose for the game now. I try 700 now. Now I'm losing now. So I want to just stick again if I can win again. During junior secondary school, Nkechuku was introduced to betting by a friend. So anytime they give me money for school, me and my guy, once we close one school, we start with 500. In bed, Niger. Despite earning less than $40 a month as a housekeeper, Nkechuku spends lavishly on betting each week. In just four years, he has poured over $1,000 into his betting habit. There were wins, but mostly losses. My biggest loss is uh, almost $150,000. That day, just like, I don't, I, I don't get myself that day. I really don't get myself that day. I was like shocked by what was going on. Like from nowhere, my body starts getting hot. I was like, what's going on with me? Even when my mom was, my mom was talking to me, I was like, what she was talking to me was not even time my, my brain itself. I was like, she was even about like five minutes, she noticed my eye was red. She asked me like, why, do you want to cry? I said, no, 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 no. I said, don't worry. I was said to myself. After leaving the betting shop, Nkechuku immediately heads home to start betting online using his smartphone. Critics in Nigeria have complained about the predatory practices of betting companies and the lack of support for addicts. In Nigeria, it's estimated that over 60 million people gamble. Many are young Nigerians seeking to overcome boredom, unemployment and poverty and believe that betting is a quick fix solution to their money problems. What they don't know, or more precisely don't want to know, is that the game is fixed and they can never win. The bookies always win. I say the house never lose because the bookie has taken his own commission anyways. And every time you run at loss, he's smiling to the bank. And a few times when you win, it's just a small portion of you that wins. The rest of chunk of them have lost. Lagos resident Oladokun Ademola worries about the tactics betting companies in Nigeria use to attract customers. He says these businesses often employ social media influencers to encourage gambling. They present themselves as betting entrepreneurs, claiming to have cracked the code to profitable gambling. There's a guy called Mayor of Ekiti. He's quite sure he's trending and he has a lot of followers and a lot of people. I mean, the guy supposedly won 100 million naira yesterday. Wow, suddenly, <laughs> you know? And every time, maybe in a couple of every month, you just hear the guy has won another 200 million somewhere. He has won 55 million somewhere. I'd be like, come on, man, how? Are you the only one? And they tell me, ah, no, the guy knows his thing, he knows his thing. Okay, good, no problem. But I believe the influencers are being uh, used to manipulate the youths. You, one day, you, you're told to just try 100,000 naira and you try and you win. Wow, you're happy, you're celebrating. And then a few weeks after, you, you put all your 1 million naira into it and everything is gone. And your children can no longer to go to school, you can't pay your house rent. A lot of men are going through what I'm talking to you about right now. Sports betting is growing exponentially, with over a hundred betting companies operating in Nigeria. It may be profitable, but the lack of regulation and taxation has increasing numbers of young people throwing their hard-earned money into a bottomless abyss. <laughs>